Hello everyone and welcome to Endling Extinction is Forever. So I recently purchased this game, it was on sale. Um I've been it's been on my wish list uh since I found out about it, which I think was right before it came out. Uh, I might be misremembering that a little bit, but I'm really excited to play it. Um, I imagine this game is probably going to make me cry, <laughs> but uh, let's let's find out what it's about together. Okay, press A to interact. Use L to move. Pretty standard so far. Hold the right trigger to run. We can dig if we hit A repeatedly, okay. So one is jump, but many is dig. Doesn't really seem like there's much else I can do other than continue progressing. So we seem to live in some sort of reserve, but the reserve is on fire. Do I need to turn back? Yep, okay. So we have a new path now. By that one. Um, I wasn't sure if it was supposed to spin the control stick or what. It kinda worked. That didn't feel intuitive. Seems like we like failed the skill check or something. So now we're injured, I think. Yeah, it looks like we're limping. Yeah, I was like, there's gonna be a car. So this is creep. We can't run. because we're injured. I wonder if things would be different if we had not failed that skill check, if we had not been pushed over the edge. Oh, where we can interact here. So we have to kind of like find our new paths in the wilderness. Okay, I reached the first layer. The game told me when I started up that it would save my game here. a little pup. We've got a couple pups. What? Oh, 
I can choose what they look like. I mean, I, it's cute if they all look different, right? That seems fine. We'll, do, we'll just do this. help put out the fire. So we have some sort of meter next to the four pups. I realize it's behind my head. With new games, I never know where it's going to um, make the most sense for me to put... I don't know. Maybe like put myself. We'll try that. Okay. So we see, you can see that we have some sort of meter here. Um, hold on one sec. What is going on? Ah. Okay. There we go. Now everything's good. We have some sort of meter. Um, my head was behind it. So I'm assuming that's my pup's health. We can like go backwards. This is where we were before. It kind of feels like we want to go forwards. Um, I can... Oh, okay. I can like see stuff. Locked path badger lair. So I have a map. Okay, we're going to regularly interact with our environment. I really didn't know what kind of game this was. I uh, just knew that I, I liked it. I like the, the kind of the artistic style and the, the premise of survival. Okay, I can hide. Hide in bushes. Okay, we've got one path here. Should we explore it? Oh, it's going to be nighttime. And I think the health bar of our pups has gone down a little bit. Hold LB. Okay. Alright, let's go. Because the health of the pups is going down. And I assume if we return with food, it will go up. Yay! It did go up. You must return home before the night ends. We have to. It's not optional. Okay, we don't have any um, scent. Like, is there a point in, like, I don't think I can get more than one thing. Okay, it seems like we're going to struggle to swim. Like, I'm like, do we just want to come back as soon as we have prey? Feels like it's gotten really dark.
I wish the like nighttime thing always stayed up because I'm like, how long is the night? Okay, badger's over there. Is it good to know that? Are we just like trying to like, okay, so we had used like a quarter of the night just to do that. Oh, fish seems like it's really good for the pups. Because I'm like, if we fill the meter... We bothered this one with our tail. Oh no. It's a lure. It's luring away the pup! Scents don't last forever. So we're gonna have to try and sniff out our pup and quickly. I assume or he'll be lost. Hold LB to track missing cub. Like it doesn't want me to keep going. Oh, the cup fought back. Put him in a cage. Sends here. Find food for your other cubs. Like a quarter of the way through. Okay, we found something. It took a really long time. Okay, we got we got fish for the other cubs. We need to hurry back though, I think, or we won't make it by the end of the night. We don't seem to be limited on our running though. Granted, I guess maybe you don't always want to run. There were people back there. Who knows about that? We can't run when we're swimming. All right, well. We got food for the others, but Oh, the little toy is here now. Now all the cubs are out. They've grown a little. Look how cute they are.
Your cubs will need time or to be petted to recover from a scary situation. Okay. I guess they come with me now. It makes sense if we're ever to, like, find another lair. And this is what I saw, you know, a lot in the trailers is that they would come along. I'm like, what do we want to do? Is badger a good thing? Badger doesn't seem like a good thing. But... We can find out, I guess. We still gotta find food, I assume. Okay, we've come to another fork. I think this way is to Badger. We all got some food. Alright, we're full on food. I can pet the cubs. I don't think we've had a scary situation. But Where are we going? Oh. We've not yet reached Badger. There he is. Okay, he seems to stop us from going down the path. So Badger is like a roadblock. I'm glad that my cubs running right through that didn't activate the trap. Where am I going? I'm like, do we still have to be back in a lair by the end of the night? Or are we now more open to explore? These are the questions. We've gone in a gigantic circle. I mean, the only way we can answer these questions is if we, you know, try stuff out, right? There was food over there before, but not now. Okay, we want to jump over this. If I jump over it, the pups avoid it. I assume if I don't jump over it, then we all take damage. And it's a scary thing. The food dwindles quickly. Pups are growing little babs, and they need lots of sustenance. It does seem to be winter. We're halfway through the night. The fact that it's telling me this makes me feel like we have to sleep through the day. So I really hope we're on our- oh my god, we're on our way to a dead end. Luckily we don't seem to need to eat. Just the pups do, but I'm very nervous now about being in a lair. If we run, then the pups, you know, fall behind. I assume that's not bad as long as nothing special is happening. So I'm like, where can we find another lair? It feels like we really need to. We should return to the lair for safety, okay. We're nowhere near a lair. Let's see if we can make it. Oh gosh, can the pups make it across the water? What's that? Okay, that's telling me how to get to the lair. Okay, the pups are swimming, but it's slow. 
Okay, they made it. Oh, this counts? Who's telling me I thought that there was a layer right here? Why is it telling me? I'm very nervous about what's about to happen. I think something very bad's about to happen because we are not in a lair. We don't have time to hunt. Pops, hurry. Oh no. I am injured now, I cannot run. is ending. Right, we go this way? Yeah, we go this way. Okay, we're almost back. I know this bush. I wanted to find us a new lair. But we made it back at least. Jump, jump, jump. Yep. Oh, cub skills. Sense. Oh, so we can like see what we saw. So we can like revisit what we're up to. Which, even though we've lost the scent, cubs will learn new skills at certain locations, help them gain these vital experiences. Okay. I can help the cubs. Okay. Where do we want to go? Badger is a problem. There's this, a mystery over there. That seems like a... Seems like something the game is telling us, you know? To go and check out. So let's go check it out. We do not want to change paths. So my brain's always like, oh, an option, I should take it. Sometimes you don't want to take it. Sometimes you want to stay the path. But finding some food soon would be, would be pretty swell. I think we want to keep going straight if we're heading towards the question mark. The game might be getting me to a new a new place. Alright, we're gonna learn. Hopefully we can start teaching them pounce. Alright, they got some food. Oh. This is not at all where we thought we might be going. Oh, food is the other way. This is locked, but I'm not one to turn down some food either. Although, that looks like a garbage bag. Okay, we got some old food. Better than nothing, I suppose. Oh, this is also gonna be locked. Okay. There's nothing we can do. I guess maybe without new skills? Or maybe the pups need skills? Like I have to find the places for pups to get skills? They need the skills to pay the bills. I assume what I do want to do though is be out as close to all night as I can every night. So that we learn 
some things. So we can go in there to pet them and feed them, but nothing scary has happened. Here's some food, though. Pups are eating the berries. They're good. I don't know what the so they they all like made a sound there, but I don't I don't know what that sound means. Another locked path. Oh okay. So a question mark. Why is there a question? There's not anymore. It feels like we need to find a new lair. You know? Like why? It feels like we're going back to the same home base. We're not really progressing. How are we going to find our cub? The cub's not there. So there's something ahead. An exclamation point. People. No! No! You leave me alone! We can't run now, he's hurt us. I can't figure out how to proceed that way. Alright, this is not good. We are not as far from our lair this time, though. There seems like there might be a second path also that goes back to it. This map is my best friend. So we're gonna keep going, actually. I'm gonna hope it comes back around. Oh, I saw a rabbit. I assume, though, I'm gonna be less good at uh, hunting. Yeah, he's run away. Because of that. Okay, but yeah, we'll have the option to cut back across right here, and we're going to take it. We're going to go back home. I've never... Oh, I'm healed. Right, yep. Yeah. Good job, little pups. Come on, we'll make it by the beginning of the morning. We made it! My goodness, this is stressful. I'm so scared I'm going to do something to mess all this up. Very nervous. Anyway, I'm going to end this first episode of Endling here. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Peggy Sis, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.